All right, what's up everybody? We're back with another video. So, nice cold morning. We got about 20 degrees this morning. So I hooked all this up yesterday. I put a short out of it. So we got the big trailer loaded up with all the appliances and stuff. It's been a slow week, but it was good news. Scrap metal prices, I got a notification yesterday that they were gonna be up this morning, $20 a ton. So, I mean, I'll take anything at this point, but you know, barely a hundred dollars a ton or less, you know, is not a good price. I mean, you know, us guys on special pricing or guys that get more pricing, you know, we're a little bit better than that. But um, you know, so hopefully it'll be a good day today. I mean, it took me a couple of days to stack this up. It took a couple of days off for Thanksgiving and everything, but. So I got a can of copper, a little bit of brass, a couple of electric motors, a couple of fins, that big air conditioner I took apart. Um, it's been a couple days, so this stuff's been just beating around in the back of the truck. Two little sealed units, you know, aluminum, that's aluminum cop, that's, that, um, I'm, I'm sorry, aluminum copper fins, that's aluminum rat eater, that's um, aluminum, and this one here is just some wire that I had. So I figured I'd bring a little bit of stuff in so I can actually make some money. And the stuff on the white truck, I literally just got back this morning. As you can see by the way the sun is, it's it's barely seven o'clock in the morning. I went and picked all this stuff up, all these appliances from a, a place I picked up for. So there's two wash, three washers, um, three washers, a dryer, two stoves, a little stove, big stove, and then this uh, old freezer. So I went and picked that crap up this morning. So we're gonna be making a load to the scrapyard. I just gotta let the truck warm up. And um, it's pretty gonna be a pretty heavy load. I mean, truck's squatting pretty good. I mean, this is probably gonna, I mean, trailer empties 3,000 with nothing on it. And I'd say there's easily 4,500, 4,500, maybe 5,000 pounds on the trailer. So. It'll be not a, a max towing, but it'll be pretty darn close to what the old uh, the old uh, Tonka truck here, the 2013 2013 F250 or F150. I'm sorry. Well, um, uh, is maxed out to tow. Tow rating on this truck is um, 9,800 pounds because it's a regular cab, two wheel drive. So they have the highest uh, towing capacity. But she's squatting pretty good. I just got word too the DOT was out. If you don't know DOT is uh, stands for uh, Dirty Old Tyrants. Let's grab Daddy. But yeah, I mean, I'll talk more once I get the truck warmed up and I'm rolling again. But um, I'm really super excited that scrap prices went up. You know, maybe I can actually make a little bit of money on this load today. Oh, I got to text my lights. That's what I should do. Test my lights. <clears throat> I know I have one light back here that's a little, a little wonky. Oh no, it's working. Usually this light, I had to put the zip tie there. The wire, the wiring got pulled. And like if you touch it, it works. Touch, don't touch it. You know, you hit a bump, it doesn't work. I don't know why they never came up with a newer <clears throat> system. I mean, I know all these lights are universal and the, the plugs just push in on the back, but after a while, them rattling and twisting and, and the wires getting tugged at, just the weight of the wire, they come loose. Like this one right here, I got pulled over by cops said, oh, you have no light. And I'm like, I'm like, okay, I walked back and I just touched it like this. And it was like, and it just came on. He's like, huh. I said, the wiring's are crap. You figured they'd have came up with a universal plug, like a stock Ford or stock Chevy, you know, tail light or housing plug something to make it universal because uh, i mean something that would clip on and it wouldn't rattle because half these lights work but the wires get pulled out of them you know what i mean or they just wiggle them right their way out but all right i'm gonna put a little um gonna put a little um guess on to what um i'm gonna make today I'm going to say current prices and with the weight of this, I'm going to say on, on this load of tin, I'm going to say, I'm going to say 400 bucks. 
I know. I'm gonna say 400 bucks. It, it might it might be a little bit more, but I'm gonna say that's only 400 bucks, which is not good. But with the prices down, it would be even less. And I'd say this little bit of stuff here in the back. I mean, that copper can's not really that full. That brass one's really not that full. I'm gonna say there's 350. So maybe an $850 day, $800 day to the scrapyard. But we'll definitely see. Let me make sure I didn't put my pin in. Yeah, see, I I knew I didn't do this. But uh, yep. Let me get that squared away before I tow. I know I didn't do it yesterday because it was frozen. I couldn't get it out, so I just pulled the truck ahead. But all right, guys, I'll see you guys when we're driving. Talk to you a little bit more. And uh, if you want to know what this is going to pay out to be and what the weight is going to be, stick to the end of the video. A lot of guys ask questions, what would you make? You didn't watch the end of the video. I can't like show you right now in the beginning of the video. Like if I put that in the beginning of the video, would you really listen to me rant about this crap? <laughs> but you know how it works. Everything's at the end of the video. If you want, I'll put it in the description. I mean, leave me a comment if you want it in the description. And, uh, you know, that's something I could do. All right, we're on the road. I would have started filming sooner, but um, my brother called me, so I had to take a phone call. But So we're on our way to the scrapyard, and we're listening to um, Turbo. We got uh, Rob Zombie. It's one of those kind of days. It's a nice sunny day and everything is really cold. You see right here it says 26 degrees. But um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so... I want to get this done. I got a couple other things I got to accomplish today. And I might have to get up on the house and clean my gutters out again. The last of the leaves fell. And I just want to make sure the downspouts are all free for the winter so I don't ice up. But, um, yeah, um, we're towing pretty good. I mean, it feels a lot heavier than um, it does when I tow with the 250. F-250 doesn't care what you put behind it. It just goes. I mean, this has, this has pretty decent power. You know, this truck only has 355 gears and um, with the 5-liter Coyote. And um, it could it could tow decently. Uh, the brakes feel good, though. You know, tow haul mode trailer brakes at, uh, I think, 8.5. And, a half. and um, in tow haul mode, you can see she downshifts on this nice long downgrade. And if I step on a brake, it'll downshift even more. No, no, because we're in second. We're in second gear right now. There's a car stopping in front of me, so I got to... Give it a little more break. But these modern trucks with a tow haul mode, sorry I'm shaking, pretty good. And now we got to get on the power. Of course, the school van in front of me is going to go slow. Because now here's another big uphill. Like, I'm not towing in Kansas. Like, I tell you guys, if you've ever been in Northeast PA in that corner region, man, it, it, it reminds me of Tennessee Mountains, man. It's all freaking 7 to 10% up uh, grades. You go up one, you go down one. You go up one, you go down one. All the way to Scranton. When you get in the valley there, it's not bad. But try to climb out of the valley, it's towing a load. It's like, it's like you're in Colorado. It's ridiculous. But like this, this is a 7% grade. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. But when you're towing, it makes a big difference. And then it comes up here and it rides around and it twists a little bit. But then it goes up another hill, down another hill. It's all it is. But all right, we're on our way to the scrapyard, and um, I was thinking about it. I might make I might make around what I said. So this is a little bit of driving impressions of the truck with the trailer. So if you guys are new to the channel, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it, man. I'm trying to trying to put out more content. Everybody wants me to put more videos out, but it's not as easy. It's hard to work and film and go home and you know, rest and edit videos and put things together and, you know, uh, go through all the emails and, um, Facebook notifications and comments and it's just, and then do research and stuff on top of it. It's just been, it's a lot. So I really appreciate what you guys do for me. So I hope you like the videos I put out. So, all right, I'll see you when we get to the scrapyard. All right, we're about to pull on the scale, but what could you do with that? Man, I could do a lot of damage with that machine. All right, we're pulling on the scale. <laughs> That's brand new, by the way. Pull my window up. All right, let's see what we weigh on at. Uh, 
looks like 14,440. So we have almost 6,000 pounds. I might underestimate it a little bit. Yeah, we were towing pretty heavy. All right, I gotta unload all this and it's busy here today, so it's gonna take me forever. I'm gonna be exhausted and out of breath, so don't make fun of me. That was interesting. Freaking exhausted. I had to wait a couple minutes to go on the scale. They gotta pull that on. So what do we weigh? 14.4. So we had 5,440 pounds. Wasn't a bad load. Truck's pulling off right here. Yeah, I don't know. They've been double scaling the trucks. That means to tell me that um, they're just verifying that both scales are accurate or that their loads they're sending out are accurate. You can take that for whatever you want it to be. I think that they're just making sure that they're not heavy. But my my weight is perfect. I know what the truck weighs. Empty. With the trailer, with the other trailer loaded. I can, so I can pretty much tell you what I got on. But I do I don't have a lot of fuel in this truck right now. I have less than a less than a half tank, so that makes it a lot lighter. I took a lot of tools and stuff out too, so but alright, let's see what this uh Let's see what this pays out. All right, let's see what I made today. I had 5,400 pounds. We weighed on at 14.4. So we were we were pretty heavy. We were um, like 1,000 pounds under what the max towing of this truck is. So it was $449, as you can see, cash paid. Um, my price was 185 a gross ton. Uh, that went up like only $20 a ton, but it was pretty good. And then I had tons of, not tons, but I had a bunch of stuff, just a little bit of stuff that was in the back of my truck. My, cop, my copper price was two seventy one, dollars you know, so all that stuff you could see. And that paid me $372 on that little bit of stuff in the back of my truck, which wasn't bad. All these prices went up a couple pennies here or there, besides the batteries. They went down again. Shield units was up a penny. Aluminum was well, that was aluminum rad. Electric motors, copper and aluminum fan one, 141. I think it was about the same. But all right, I gotta go. All right, so I gotta go get some gas. Oh, put my seatbelt on here. All right, remember to like, comment, and subscribe, man. I got a bunch of things I gotta do today. Got people calling me, so. If you like this content, stick with me because I'm going to start posting more videos. I know I had a little break there for a while, but I'm going to be posting more and more and more. I'm getting to winter, so it's a slow time. But All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.